Probably the most important lesson I've learnt in life is to not let what people say about you take away from you as a person. Uh, I've made three Olympics being Beijing 08, London 2012 and Rio 2016 and at all of them I've swum the 100 backstroke, the 200 backstroke and the 4x1 medley relay. To make the 4x1 medley relay team we ended up swimming and we broke the world record so it was awesome. It was so amazing so standing up there with girls like you know Libby Trickett with Jessica Shipper and Liesl Jones it was it was like my dream come true. Uh, so I swim eight swim sessions a week. They're between two to two and a half hours. I then do two weight sessions a week on Tuesday and Thursday mornings as well as swim. I also have a horse, so I horse ride as well as swimming. So I try to do that um, between one and three times a week as well. Um, and that's just honestly for soul searching for a bit of an outlet from swimming. And then I add my Pilates in as well, which I try to get one or two a week done. And then there's also an element of cardio as well, which I try to do either some running or something else to add a little bit more cardio into my program as well. So that's between one and two sessions a week as well. Yeah, there's, there's been many times where I feel like I haven't had the confidence in myself. And I think a lot of them stems from stuff that's happened to me in my personal life, as well as, you know, discovering I had Ender. I found 2016 extremely tough to go out there and be like, you know, I've, done the best job that I can but you know in in the face of doing something you know really bad where I didn't get what I wanted I came back the next year and proved everyone wrong in being world champion in 2017 so you know sometimes it just takes you know a little setback to propel you to where you need to go I think it's just one of those feelings that it's pretty um, like I, I can never describe how I'm feeling because you're, you're kind of sad, but you're so happy and you're so joyful and you're singing the national anthem with three other girls that have probably been your idol for five years and you're on this team and you're, I was 16 at the time, I was still at school and I had, you know, girls from school texting being like, oh my God, you're amazing and it was just like, it was just so sudden and so quick, but it's something that I dreamed about doing and I just didn't think that it would come so quickly. The next goal for me is to make four Olympics. So 2020 will be my fourth Olympics um, and I would be the only, the second only swimmer to have achieved four Olympics in that time. And I would be the longest serving Australian swimmer coming up to 14 years on the Australian swim team.